Hey Cancer, this is your uh, April 2018 monthly reading. So, I'm a Cancer Moon and so is my business partner, Dale. He's the other half of Providence Tarot. Uh, I shuffled the deck and I cut it and I just want to give you guys a look at the card that's on the bottom of the deck. It's the Empress and this is a very Venetian card, right? It sort of, it rules. Libra and Taurus and with the Empress what I get is a very kind nurturing energy it's one of understanding but it's also you know one of its own purpose as well um, this card is my favorite number which is three and three is a number of strength and it's kind of like you know the first number that creates a shape something that is actually recognized as being substantial, substantially beneficial, and something that actually can help create other things, you know? It's like you can turn a triangle on its side so that it points up, or you can turn it on its apex so that it's pointing down. So you almost essentially have different shapes coming from the same thing, right? And that is the Empress. She creates things and they come from her. All right, so your first card is the Judgment card. So I'm getting, you know, this is a card of forgiveness. It's also a card of realization. It's a card of forgiveness. It is also a, I feel like with this card, there's a sense of releasing something that's kind of like setting you free. There's a knowing, it's a deeper knowing, it's a more widespread knowing, yeah? So there might be some things being revealed to you uh, in a certain situation that you're in that might have been confusing, or the situation is confusing because the second card you got in your sun sector is the Seven of Cups. That's Venus and Scorpio, right? It's like, um, don't be afraid of what decision you have to make because you're going to have to make a decision regardless. If you wait too long, then the options change, right? That's what you're realizing, that you need to make a decision about something. It's a person, it's a place, it's a thing. It could be, you know, a thought process. In your moon, you've got another three, the three of pentacles, yes. So this is also, a, this is a Capricorn energy here. Um, that's a card of working very well, being, you know, very good at what you do. You're hungry to work, you know. For you to have a stable job, it makes you feel good, you know what I mean? To have a sense of purpose. And that's kind of how you are as a Cancer, you know. Um, you want to create things that bring about a positive emotional experience or a positive emotional response, right? I mean, you definitely feel negative things all the time. As a Cancer moon that's at 29 degrees, 41 minutes, I think, then it's, my moon is like almost in Leo. Um, as a Cancer moon, I've experienced a lot of crazy things that happen and it usually has to do with in the household. Uh, but because of that intense emotional maturity and that sense of feeling so much, it really does do a Cancer well to have a, a, a job that actually brings them in to, um, to focus on something so that they're not always caught in their emotions. And it's so funny that I talked about that triangle being turned. You see, there's a triangle actually in between the three of these pentacles here. You can see it. You can see how it changes as I flip the card. Anyway, let's look at your recent past, okay? You got this in your recent past. I believe that Aries got this in their hopes, fears. So in the recent past, there might have been some mental conflict or there might have been some arguments. There was like the communication between people was causing a rift in the relationship. And that, that doesn't even have to be like 
what is actually being said. That could be like what actions you, you, you're taking that a person is reading or they're perceiving, you know? It's like, that's how dogs know what, you know, is going on because they just have a very good perception of things. They can look at your body language and you're communicating. You can make a sound or a facial expression, you're communicating. So you feel everything. And like with this energy cancer, you feel all of this, right? It's just too much for you. You don't even really like conflict. I mean, you kind of work well within it because you're, you know, you're cancer and you can deal with the good and the bad. I've had so many people tell me some crazy ass shit and, you know, they thought that they couldn't tell me because I was going to flip out and I just said like, oh, okay. Is that what you have to tell me? Anyway, <laughs> you got another Capricorn card here, which is the Two of Pentacles. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like a card of getting getting an understanding of, of things. It's like your finances, your home life, you, the relationship that you have. It's something that's solid. It's, 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 it's early energy of Capricorn. So it's like, oh, I'm sorry, my phone is acting crazy. Um... It's just kind of like juggling things, you know? You're trying to work things out. You're moving things here. You're moving things there. It could be money. You could be staying at different places, you know what I mean? And it's not like you're unstable. Unstable. You're just kind of like doing things the way that you're doing them right now. And that's fine, too, you know what I mean? Cancer knows what they need. So sometimes you actually might need to go you know, to your friend's house and get away from your roommate so that you can, you know, get what you need from that environment or that atmosphere in order for you to feel a little bit better about yourself and a little bit whole. Uh, nurture, because you're always doing the nurturing. Look, and as I say that, the Ten of Cups comes comes up, right? This is the Sun in Pisces. Um, that's in your future. So what I'm saying is that you're actually going to find yourself in a place of having a job that's going to be really fulfilling for you. It's almost like the job that you've always wanted, right? Uh, and it's a new beginning, so it's like, it's going to be something new for you, a new experience, but you're going to feel very good about it. You're going to be celebrating, and, um, you know, it could bring some heightened emotions just because, you know, it is a 10, uh, and you might feel overwhelming, overwhelmed by these emotions, uh, you know, but overall, I think it's it's for the better. You may have had to make a decision to get you to this place of this new beginning, and that caused something else somewhere to change, and that was the confusing part about this, right? You want to be fair. You don't want to seem like you're not being fair, or you don't want to seem like, you know, you're not being graceful in a situation. You don't want to make it seem like you're doing something that isn't right. See, and your hopes and your fears, you got the Four of Swords, which is Jupiter and Libra. And you are definitely going into a place of kind of making sense of this because it's like, that's a very spiritual card. It's like pulling in some inspiration just from, you know, like your faith, I feel. I was looking out the window, looking at like birds and stuff because I have a nice, I, I have an okay view here in New York. I like it. But, um, you know, you're taking a step back. You're, you're sort of gaining mental stability from this five of swords, right? This is like conflict. And this is sort of like, you know, a little bit of more peace, right? It's bringing a little bit of um, stability into your emotions so that you're not all over the place. And, you know, your Mars, your will, this is kind of like, you definitely want to have that sense of uh, stability, right? And it's so interesting because you got the Four of Swords, and then right after that in your will, you got the Four of Pentacles. So you're definitely taking a step back from a situation that might have, like, been confusing for you or maybe had affected you in ways that you really didn't want to, and you're doing it for your own mental stability, and you're also doing it because you know that it's going to be better for you in the long run. You may have, you know, something that you you want, and this is what's going to get it for you, for you to make this decision that's been hard for you to do, Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, something that you want. This is the King of Pentacles. So this man, he pretty much 
has seen it all, he's known it all, he's had it all, and, you know, he's done all the things. So, you know, that's your advice. Your advice is to get out there and make these things happen for yourself so that you can actually feel that sense of power that you know that you were meant to have. You know, it's like you are a very hard worker. You've got a lot of pentacles here. Uh, three, two, two, three, four, and the king. So, all together, you know, the three and the two make five, and the four make nine. That's coming into completion. This is the completion card out of the major, or no, sorry, the minor arcana, right? It's a court card, but that's the last card in the minor cards, right? The king of pentacles. So, you're getting to that heightened sense or that heightened state of just kind of like of being you're gonna really afford some things for yourself that you have been wanting to do you know you're gonna you're gonna pay off that credit card or you're gonna you know you're gonna uh, pay off some debt and that's something that you know you've just been worried about for a while you know swaying and rocking your outcome card is the magician so like I said you have all of these things that you have to offer you know what i mean you are a creator so it's like use those tools that you have to actually create the things that you want because you were actually meant to have those things you work so hard you know what i mean and it's like you you work well as well you know what i mean working hard and working well are two different things to me i'm a libra so i i understand what that means you know i'm very leisure with my time and how i do things sometimes i'm running behind but you know anyway the Magician, this is also a card that I'm familiar with because my birthday is October 1st. The Magician is fierce, you know. He can be someone that is a little bit manipulative sometimes and maybe you might have to do something that you feel like people may not understand because they just aren't, you know, like you are. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it, right? You need to get yours, Cancer. And I hope that you do that. All right.